Wait here. You, uh, uh, you bastard! Are you blind? What are you doing here? <laughs> Looking for Chan Kuei. Do you know where he is? Huh? Are you in fact Chan Kuei? What's it to you? Are you the guy that robbed that gold from that banker? Huh? How did you know that? Who the hell are you? <laughs> My name is Fong. Fong C. Yu. That banker happens to be a good friend of mine. Fong see you. my wedding. Hey, old man. Marrying this young girl. Me, because you're dead. Huh? You bastard! How dare you come here and insult me! I, 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 uh... <laughs> Who are you? My name's Fong. Fong Shi Yu. He's my friend. Oh. Well, sir, he, he's from to you. I don't care who he is. Just get him out of here. Huh? I'd like to stay. Well, sir, if Fong Siu says he wants to stay here, no one can get rid of him. I, if he stays, you go. Huh? If he says, I go. Hey, what are you looking at? Why don't you get him? Drag him out of here and kill him. You hear? Hey, old man. That fellow was right. If Fang Xiu wants to stay here, no one can get rid of him. Fang Xiu is one of the country's young heroes. He is as agile as a deer and just as fast. There is no one who dares offend him, except for one lone fighter, a man named the Great Kao Li. <laughs> Cow. Cow Lee. Cow Lee? The great Cow Lee? That's correct. We are not enemies. Why do you hurt my men? Your men here can all fight, but they're bad men. Besides, Master Lee, I've heard it said you're the best fighter in the North. <laughs> I've yet to meet my match, Cow Lee. 
Fine. I'd like to test you. Master Lee, don't be annoyed. When I made up my mind to beat someone, I make sure that I do just that. <laughs> to pit his skill against other Kung Fu masters. His aim is to become the world's number one Kung Fu expert, which is why he went to find Fong Si Yu. Hello. You after some cash? Huh. You've no money. <laughs> well, if you know that I'm broke, what do you want with me? We're not enemies or rivals. I'm just after a trial match. A match? Oh! <laughs> I see now. You're that guy who's gone a bit mental. The guy who fights with everyone. The great Kao Li. I'm Kao Li. But I'm normal. I have no reason to fight. Now, oh, say, so if I want to fight, so should you. Kao Li, if I say no contest, I mean no contest. I'm sorry. I'm always forcing people to do things they don't like. <laughs> Great Kali fights pretty well. I'm Fongsi Yu. It's not too bad either. Hold it. What are those people doing over there? You fool. There's no one there. Ah! Kali, you should use your brain a bit more. <laughs> Fongsi Yu, I'll beat you one day. Yeah! <laughs> you yesterday. No one permitted to work here unless they have our permission. Now, don't you listen to what I tell uh, you? Master Tao, I try my best to follow your orders. But you know, those fellows there rely on this work they do to support their families. It's not fair to refuse them work. Hmm. Well, you're very foolish to disobey the master's orders, aren't you? Nonsense! Your master is a vampire. He has no right to stop us. I know he wants to finish it all. <laughs> Mr. Liu! <laughs> Mr. Liu, I'll give you three days to consider. By that time, you're still down degree. You probably are even less polite than they are now. Right. 
Come on. Mr. Lou. Mr. Lou. This time, he's gone much too far. We've nothing left at all. Yet he still exploits us. Master, he wants to force us out and control the business. All right. I think I'll go over and see him myself. Brother, I don't think you should go in person. We all know that he's trying to drive us away from here. If you do go, I doubt if we'll see you again. We know he's long wanted to control our business. If I stay, he'll force us out. If I go, it might save a few of your lives. So I might as well go and talk to him. Mr. Chairman, your way is here! Oh, Mr. Chang, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, please come in. Mr. Tao, please drop that pretense. Where is Mr. Chow? Oh, Mr. Chow's a very busy man. Uh, please sit down. Uh, have some tea. <laughs> so Mr. Chow's busy. Well, then so am I. Mr. Chow. The master! Mr. Chiang is our guest. Why don't you let him sit down? Uh, well, Master, he said that he... Uh... <laughs> Mr. Chow, there's no point in trying to impress me. I came here for a discussion. You've been interfering with some of my workmen. Tell me why. Mr. Chiang, my purpose is obvious. I wish to take over your business. Mr. Chow. My men must work or they starve. Mr. Chiang, I have given my orders. And I'll not be beaten. Hmm. Well, you have to kill me first. Don't move. Huh? Mr. Chiang, no one can leave without my permission.
turn left, walk half a mile, and you'll be in Cantor. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. That's all right. the wrong guy. I don't know anyone surnamed Chow. I've come to see my uncle, Chiang Chung Wei. Well, who are you? Fong Si Yu. You're Fong Si Yu? So you've heard the name before. Do you still want to fight? Oh, no. Si Yu. You haven't changed. <laughs> Just as I remember. Your father was a sworn brother of mine. We were so close. I never thought he would die before me. Uncle, I've come to avenge his death. I thought I'd come here to see you. Here? You did the right thing. My business has been destroyed by Chao Pao. I'm in hiding. Chao Pao? The head of the Chao family? That guy? No one else could force me into hiding like this. He's taken my trade, robbed us of our profits, and oppresses the people. Uncle. There must be a way to get the business back. Well, I'd like to, but I think there's no way. Chao Pao has just employed some men. He's scared I'll take revenge. Who's he got to help him? He's engaged four fighters. Each one is known throughout the country for his skill. The first one is the flying axe Wong Kang. His first axe has never missed his target. In all the fights that he's had, he's never had to use the second axe. The second is a playboy from the south called Chang Li Wu. His family were fishermen, and his main weapon is a poisonous net. It's said that he killed 
four tough opponents at the same time. The third is a well-known murderer, Shi Tao. I was told that in one recent fight, he killed seven top young fighters within a few minutes. The fourth man is known as Wai Ting Chung. He is the best of Chao Pao's fighters. He's always with Chao Pao, except when he's practicing Kung Fu. With these four men guarding him, we just can't get near to him. It's impossible. I know we'll be defeated. <laughs> Don't be so certain. All we need is perseverance. He you. Can you help us? To get Chao Pao. I'll have to get into his house. Oh, no, 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 no. It's too dangerous. You cannot fool Chao Pao. He's not that dumb. Besides, to get to him, you have to kill the four fighters first. Uncle, if Fang Shi Yu says he'll do it, nothing will stop him. I think I'm getting old. Shi Yu, we already have a spy in there. Anytime you need help, put a flower near the door. He'll contact you. <laughs> hey, over here. Huh? I'm sure about that. Hey, take that, that mess. And that? Sure. And that, that? Yes. Bring this. Let me hide under that heap of straw. Please help me. But, sir, if they should find you there, are they likely to kill me? Oh, no. Don't say a word. Then they won't find me. That's right. They're coming. Come over here. Uh -huh. He can't have disappeared. Come on. Oh. I'll repay you later. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, remember not to tell them. Yeah, okay. Over here. Quick. Have you seen a middle-aged man running around here? <laughs> Was it a guy with a mole on his mouth? Uh, yeah, that's him. Have you seen him? Where is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the wall. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. What's your name? I, uh... <laughs> I'm called Chang Xiaoliang. Chang Xiaoliang? Where are you from? Uh, I, 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 I'm from around here. Mr. Chen, he's an orphan. He's honest and reliable, so I brought him back to help you out. <laughs> well then, there's a lot to do at the moment. So tell him he can do some odd jobs around the house. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chen. Uh, hang on. No! Wait. This pair of shoes is for our mistress. Please take them. Uh, yes. 
our mistress lives behind the house, right? Well, yeah. Do a good job, and you might be promoted. Uh, thank you for your help, sir. Mm. Thank you. Dusk descends on the stream. Too drunk to find the way. The boat drifts off course into the deep rushes. You row, you row. The bird, surprised, fly off. <laughs> Mistress? Huh? Mistress? Are you? Who are you? How dare you rush me? Uh, my lady, I am a newcomer here. Mr. Chin told him to bring the shoes here. <laughs> Give them here. <laughs> hey, if you ever come here again, you must get permission first or someone might break your leg. Yeah, it won't happen again. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. Yes, I'll go now. It's just, I feel the words on the picture. I'm not quite right. Hmm. So you think this poem is no good? Oh. There's no scene in the picture, so don't mention the dust. There's no boat either, so don't say the boat drifts off course. Also, there's no birds in the picture, so don't say the birds surprise fly off. I suggest that you change it to, uh, the willow dances. Lotus flowers bloom. The bridge leads onward. Passion grows apace. Hmm. I think that's more suitable. Hey, how dare you! Criticize my lady's painting. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait. Uh, my lady, I was forgetting my place. Please forgive me. Well, what is your name? Uh, I, uh, my name. Jenks, out in. Get back to work. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we thank have you. to get back quick. Master is treating all the men who brought back the provisions tonight. You bought everything? Everything. Okay. You must be tired. The master's waiting inside for you. This way. Mm. Stupid bastard. Master yes, Shaw. Did everything go smoothly? Yes, sir. No problems. We got all the provisions. No one gave us trouble. That's good. It's not surprising they didn't. Excuse me, master. Someone outside wants to see you. Who is this fella? A killer. You really got some guts. Nobody has ever dared to walk up to me as you've done. Master Char, there's nothing in this world that Carl Lee dares not do. Oh? The great Carl Lee. You've become quite famous. Why have you come here? To see you. Because you've needed me. Huh? 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 Kali. Why should I need you? Because you need good men. Having one more friend beats having one more enemy. If the friend was no good, then I'd disagree. Ali, 
It looks as though we'll be good friends. Seven. Yeah. Bring us some tea. <laughs> Master, having Mr. Cow's help is a great boost for us. Ah, but everyone must pitch in and help. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely true. We must do our bit. <laughs> What are you doing? Master, your young servant. He looks like someone. Oh. Who's that? <laughs> he looks like... Like a useless cousin that I have. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make trouble, huh? Brother Lou, I wanted to leave that place, Chin Chu, so I came here to ask you if you'd put me up. We are sworn blood brothers. Of course I will. Besides, we need good men here. Go have a rest first. I'll take you to the master later. Uh, Mr. Lou! <laughs> And a loo. <laughs> Chang Tao Ling, it's now midnight. Where are you off to? Didn't Master Chow inform you? No one's allowed out at night. Uh, I was just feeling depressed. Uh, uh, I just came out for a walk. I, I, I'll go back to my room now. Uh, Don't move. Come over and look at Master Han. He'll be living here from now on. You must treat him with respect. Uh, uh, we've met before. My name's Fong. Fong C. Yu. Hey, Han. What's wrong with you? Brother, this fellow looks like... He looks like... Looks like someone? Like who? But it... Impossible. He wouldn't be a servant. What's wrong? Just who's he like? He looks like Fong C. Yu. Fong C. Yu? <laughs> Brother, you seem to have Fong C. Yu on the brain. Why would he... Want to come here to be a servant? Uh, 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 master, may I go back to my room now? No! Uh, uh, no! Uh, oh, no! Oh, uh, 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 please don't kill me! Hit me if I've done wrong! But please don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Uh, All right then! I'll have you see your face! <laughs> you really are from you! <laughs> and Dalu. Why do it, huh? Blowing my disguise. Does you no good at all? Brother, what is all this about then? Why bother fighting with a servant? Uh, he really is. Thanks to you. Luigi. <laughs> He's had a bad shock. Huh? You bastard. What did you call me? I called you Luigi. What's wrong with that? How dare you call me anything but master? <laughs> Thanks to you. Get up! Uh, did did you say right. Thanks to you? It's right. It's Thanks to you. Brother Han's eyesight is not bad. What do you want? To destroy Chow. What do you want? It's obvious. He wants to silence us. That's what he wants. Go ahead. <laughs> We've looked everywhere. We can't find him. Didn't you? Mm hmm? Who do you think killed them? No one would dare make trouble here, except for Chang Chong Wei and his men. Hmm. 
Wang Kang. Sir! Take some men and go find Chen. Kill them all. Yes, Master. Right. Go to the city and buy some funeral gear. We must bury Lu and Men. Yes, sir. I'll go now. <laughs> if you want to live, tell me where Chang Chung Wei is hiding. No way! You've never heard of Wong Kang's flying axe. I never miss my target. <laughs> what? Huh? Chen Chaoling? No. My name's Fong Si Yu. Fong Si Yu? Was it you who killed Liu and Han then? That's right. Wong Kang? You're not only a massive brute, you've also got some brains. I'm told that when Fong Sir Yu wants something, nothing at all can stop him. <laughs> I was told that Wang Kang has never had to use his second axe. I wonder if this time you'll get what you want, or I'll have to use my second axe. <laughs> Luck has always been on my side. It's been on my side, too. <laughs> Second act. Yeah. You. Uh. Hey. Wakak. You should have had more sense. I told you to lose. Yeah. So, go and buy the funeral thing. I'm going to deal with all of them. Sorry, young. Back just in time. Take these cakes to Our Lady. She's waiting for them. <laughs> Careful. Uh, yes, sir. You want it? Huh? Master, you 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 shouldn't. I'm, I'm not allowed to. I don't care about that. 
You will do exactly what I tell you to. I tell you to eat. Why don't you eat it? If you refuse to eat it, you'll insult me. Now you must fight me as a punishment. <laughs> Mr. Clown, let me out this time. How can I fight with you? Your kung fu is so good. I'm just a weakly... I... You can't win a fight with kung fu. Once in a while, you got to use your brain. <laughs> Master, I'm an idiot. Please, please forgive me. That's enough. Act like a man. Stop whining like that. <laughs> so Yang, Kao is right. Don't be a coward. You fight. Don't back out. Now, get up and fight. Yeah! Come on! Get up! Please, right. all of you, Come forgive me. I can't. I, 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 I'm afraid. I, uh... Are you a man? <laughs> Act like one. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, don't kill me. Spare me. Uh, uh, no! Ah! Whoa! Uh, uh, don't see you. Your disguise is very good. And you're a good actor. Golly, stop picking on me. Leave me alone. No! <laughs> Ah! Uh, 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 you. if you refuse to fight with me, I'll tell the boss who you are. You bastard. Uh, uh, Get up. Uh, fight back. Uh, Master, be merciful and let me go. Uh, Will you fight with me? Ali, uh, when I say no, I mean no. All right, then I'll expose you. Yeah, uh, okay. Get up! Get up! Listen, all of you! He is, in fact, the famous. That's a chillang. Thank you. Don't worry. I know a way to make you fight. Huh? <laughs> Tell me. My lady. Why are you bullying this servant? My lady, I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Carl Lee, he's one of our servants. If he does wrong, we'll deal with him. I'm sorry, my lady. Excuse me. Right, come on. Okay, okay, okay right now. Thank you, my lady, for saving me. Chow Chu, do something to help him. Yes, mistress. Servant. Uh, my, my lady, well, what do I uh, look like then? Like an educated man. What's more, you are a poet. Uh, my lady, uh, you're still angry for what I said that day. In fact, I was talking nonsense. An uneducated man could not compose a poem. Sardian. You're the first person who's ever dared to tell me the truth. Uh, my lady, I'm just a poor country boy. I know nothing about nothing. Uh, please forgive me. That's enough. Sometimes one's only true friends are those who tell us the truth. Sal Yang. Don't you think so? Uh, 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 my lady, I, uh, I don't understand all that. I, uh, uh, I must go now. Sal Yang. Uh, What's wrong? Don't you like talking to me? Uh, my lady, uh, of course I like it. Uh, it's just I'm a servant. You're a lady. We're different. If Mr. Chin should find out, I know he'd beat me again. Hey, my lady, I've been looking for you. Why look for me? My lady, I beg you not to speak so harshly to me. I've come to have a chat with you. Up you while away the time. I don't want to talk with you. Huh? <laughs> you ignorant <laughs> slave. Someone will have to teach you a lesson. I'm talking to the lady. What are you standing there for? Just get out of here. <laughs> yes, Master. I have to leave right now. My lady, I wish you wouldn't talk to me like that in front of a servant. <laughs> Fang to you.
You're a good actor. You're patient, too. He shouts at you, and you leave. Cowley. Hmm? Let me go this time. One day I'll pay you back. Huh. Fine. All you have to do is to fight with me, and I'll agree to anything. Cowley. Do you know what sort of person you are? Tell me. You're a certified madman. Oh. I wish I'd never met you. <laughs> Master. 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 Mr. Tao, what on earth's the matter? Mr. Wong, he's dead. If you were me, what now? Hey, Master, that's easy. We just search everywhere. I don't believe Chen can hide for long. I didn't ask you. Tian Chung, tell me. I would set a trap for Chang and his men. <laughs> Come and ask. Gee, now, watch yourself. You're gonna meet the same fate as Wong Kang. <laughs> now, B, it's you. <laughs> so you fell for it. to be buried here. You down. This is where you're gonna die. Huh? You lot are just hopeless. Do you think you can kill me? Fight! Well, if they can, I can. Huh? huh. Chang Xiaolin. Huh? Sure you down. You really are dumb. His name's Feng Shiyu. Feng Shiyu? Oh, so everything was arranged by you. That's right. You are a smart guy. Feng Shiyu? I have to agree, you've got patience. You've taken a lot of knocks and insults from them. I don't mind a bit. We should have found you a long time ago. Gee, don't blame yourself. You couldn't have guessed my real identity. I knew I'd beat you in the end. It looks like this is the time for you to die.
We must find someone who understands them. That's right. First there is you, and then me. I'd say Cowley is the most likely person. Why didn't you? Why are you still suspicious of me? Cowley, before you came, all was peaceful. But ever since you got here, we've received a series of setbacks. Now then, how do you explain that? <laughs> it's well known by everyone that the great Whiting Chung is a wise and noble man. This time, however, you got it wrong. Well, have you got proof that you didn't kill them? Yes. yes. On the day that Wong Kang died, he was teaching Kung Fu. He was with me the whole time when Shi Yi Dao went out. Master Chow, you really have great insight. I respect you. If not Cao Li, then just who could it be? It's a traitor who knows our movements intimately. Thank you. How did you kill Wong Kang and Shei Dao? How do you know I did it? Only you could have done it. Fung to you. Why have you worked your way in here? What did you want? Just after money? I don't understand you. Maybe it's Charles' daughter you want. I've never heard of Fung to you being bewitched by a girl. Kali, if you're so certain, why haven't you told Chao Pao? Because I haven't fought you. I don't want anybody else to kill you. Kali, I refuse to fight with you. Huh. Things are different now. If you still refuse to fight, I'll expose you to Chao Pao. I tell you, I've never told a lie in my life. Kali, today at noon, I'll wait at the hill. A hero or a fool? Heroes and fools are sometimes hard to tell apart. Why do you want to fight me so much? I told you. When I want something, I get it. Oh, yeah? Well, then you are a fool. Hmm. Call me what you like. But then I told you. Today I will defeat you. Hey. <laughs> defeated me. I didn't win the fight. It's even. Let's be friends. No, thank you. I don't want you as a friend. Why's that? Then I'd have to help get you out of trouble. You're really a mean bastard. <laughs> you been? Oh, I just went out for a walk. 
What is it? It's not me who wants you. Hmm? It's my lady. There have been many deaths recently. My lady's worried. Tells you not to leave the house. Avoid trouble. <gasps> what happened to your face? Uh, I bumped into something by mistake. This is my lady's kerchief. You may use it. You're a very lucky guy. Our lady likes you. Oh, is that so? Please thank our lady for me. So you just want to thank our lady, huh? What about me? <laughs> thank you, mistress. <laughs> That's the right way. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. A servant with a maid. <laughs> he. Stop making trouble. <laughs> to my friend. I never thought you'd have time to play with maids. Tell me, which girl's next? Master, do you want to see our lady? Get out of my way. Uh, Master, my lady told me to wait here for you. Huh? You bastard. I know that our lady would not ask you to wait here for me. Master, if you don't believe what I say, go and ask her yourself. But don't you blame me if you ruin the whole thing. Huh? huh? Uh, hey, Sal Young, don't be angry. Don't be angry. I know you're one of her close attendants. I should keep in touch with you. Oh, do you have any message for me from Our Lady? Master, if you should ever get to become Master Chow's son-in-law, please don't forget the things I've done for you. Oh, of course I won't. Hey, what did Our Lady say? Tell me quick. Uh, our Lady said she will meet you at midnight tonight near the temple, and she wants to talk to you. Uh huh? Uh, 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 uh. I never dreamt I would ever be this lucky. A girl like this one is hard to find. But I have managed to catch her. What's going on here? I've been waiting over two hours now. What's wrong? Isn't she coming? Uh, master. Are you getting a bit impatient? Nonsense. I don't like waiting around in a place like this. If anyone should see me, they would think I'd gone crazy. <laughs> master. Actually, I think it's quite a nice place. Just right for a burial. Damn servant. How dare you talk to me like that? I'll break your legs if you're not careful. Master. In fact, I should be more exact. I should have said that this is a good place to bury a lecherous toad like yourself. That's about what I mean. Damn you! You bastard! How dare you say such a thing? To a man in my position. <laughs> Master, there's nothing Fangxi you dare not do. God damn you! I'm going to get you! Huh? Who did you just say you were? <laughs> Fong. <laughs> Right. It was me who killed Wang Kang, and she eat up. And now, it is your turn. Damn you! Fong Si Yu, you played the part well. Your disguise was inspired, but I'm willing to bet my life that you can't kill me. Right? But I'm afraid you might lose. Hi! <laughs>
that everyone gets their just desserts. Chang Li Wu, it's your own fault. You should have used your brains. Hey, Sam. Master Chow's really angry about the death of Master Chang. This murder is really something. The village is really worried. Yeah, to him. Frankly, whenever I think about how they all died, I really get frightened, too. This killer, he's like a tiger. Don't speak of it. I'm as scared as hell. Come on now, let's continue the search. Tito, I can't see the point of it. We can't find him all by ourselves. Besides, if we did, what would we do? Well, we'd have to pretend to search, or else we'd really get it from Master Chow. Master Chow, we've searched the whole village now. We can't find the murderer. Keep on searching. I know he's in the village, and he's somewhere here. Kalyan. Uh, uh, my lady. It's good to see you. Recently, things have been very strange. Too many people that I know have all simply disappeared. I'm very worried. My lady. Who they caught the killer? Xiao Liang, don't worry. It'll be all right. There are guards all around. Uh, you're right. I just hope when he shows up, all of our fighters can capture him. My lady. Xiao Liang, go off and clean some of the rooms. We're going to be busy. Uh, yes. Uh, my lady. I don't have to go now. Good job. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
should tell you that my kung fu is known the world over. I'm the best there is. My friend, your kung fu is very good. You're also brave. But I still don't quite understand. You killed Wong Kang, Shi Yi Dao, and also Chang Li Wu. You should have known I'd be ready. Why do you still risk your life? Except for now. You've never left Chop outside. So I thought I should try. Huh. You sure you can kill me? Nearly. My friend, you're too confident. Wait in Chun. I'm not confident, but I'm going to kill you today. You're not good enough. My friend, it's you who'll die tonight. <laughs> My friend, just face the facts. Why not take off the mask? Let everyone see just what you are made of. Not yet time for me to fight. Thank you. 
You lazy scoundrel. Everyone's busy outside and you're still asleep in here. Sarang. Why don't you go and help them? Uh, Mr. Chim, I, uh... Fong to you. Put your clothes on. I saw your flower near the door. Mr. Chin, so you were the spy that Uncle Jack told me about. If it wasn't me, you would have got in here. You'd have had no chance to kill Wong Kang and show you down. What's more, if I'd not started the fire, you'd have been unable to escape. Yes, but you've worked for Chow for over ten years. Why'd you do it? Ten years ago, Chang Chung Wei saved my life. Even then, Chao Pao was getting ambitious. So he told me to get a job here. Why did you put the flower pot near the door? Is there anything that I can do for you? There's been too much trouble recently. Master thinks the killer's hiding in the village. For the good of everyone, I'd like you to cooperate. Last night, the killer received an injury on his chest. So we'll now see whose chest has a wound on it. Just as well you were hit last night by Master Chow. Do you deny it? Master, it's not me. Master, it's not me. I've been framed. Well, tell me how you got the wound. Master Chow, I really don't know. I was all right yesterday. But when I woke up, I found that I was wounded. <laughs> Well then, Master, we finally dealt with the killer, huh? <laughs> mm. It's not Jang's, not the killer. Huh? What? Why'd you kill him? There's a chance it was him, but he wouldn't have the guts. Tell them all to take their shirts off. Come on, you lot. Take your oh. shirts off. You heard him. Come on. Oh. Don't move. If anyone runs off, I'll kill him. Your shirts off. Come on, quickly! Get them out! Come on! to bed quite early last night. I went to sleep. Uh, when I woke up, I uh, found that I'd been wounded. Ah! Wong Du. Master. And you? Just the same as Chin Yung. I went straight to sleep after I had dinner. I prepared the dinner for you. It was, uh, uh, it was...
I didn't know that you could fight. I never guessed that you'd turn against me. Tell me why. You looked after me for 12 years, but I still owe my life to Chang Chung Wei. I, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 Tell me who the killer is! Which one's the killer? Speak! Speak! I know he is not the killer. Master, just who is the killer? Wait. We will soon know. This medicine is from your father. Sao Liang, what is happening in this household? Every day someone gets killed here. How can it continue? Mistress, it will end soon. Please don't worry. It is always darkest before dawn. Yes, but this dark night is lasting much too long. When will the dawn arrive? Mistress, the dawn will be here soon. One more thing. I... I hope you'll forgive me. What have you done that I must forgive? If I should ever do anything which would hurt you, I hope you'd forgive me. Uh, Sao Liang, what are you hinting at? Tell me! Sao Liang! flowers bloom. The bridge leads onward. Passion grows apace. is no one's fool. He'll discover who I am pretty soon. Besides, he's very disturbed right now. This is the best chance we'll get. Sure, you. You'll have to be careful. I know that, Uncle. We must follow our plan. Who introduced you here? <laughs> Master, it was me who brought him in here. Master 
job. How did you find out? I thought of you after Chin Young died. But I wasn't absolutely sure. Until my daughter said you'd asked her forgiveness. I'm stupid. I used to be clever. I never thought the one who killed all my men was a servant I saw every day. You... You can tell me now. Just who are you? <laughs> Fang Si Yu. Fang Si Yu? Fang Si Yu. I have to admit that you're really an amazing person. Thank you. It would take a lot of patience for a man like you to act as a servant. You're certainly no ordinary man. I had to do it in order to defeat you. You see, a person never thinks of those people around him, especially a great hero such as you, Foxy Yu. I want you to forgive me. In another setting, I would like us to become good friends. But now, I think I must kill you. Oh, <laughs> 
you were right. You should not have become my friend. You died for me. Without friends, life has no meaning.